This is a story about a fight to keep our public beaches accessible to the public. As you know, places like Malibu or Newport have miles and miles of private homes right along the ocean, and they're all smushed together, so you might think those beaches are private, right? Wrong. Every foot of California shoreline actually belongs to the state of California, in particular the part of the beach where the sand is wet. That part is public. But the Coastal Commission has had a hell of a time trying to get some rich people with homes on the beach to understand that. And there are hundreds of cases where these beach blockers have kept the public out for decades. There's one really dramatic case. A Beverly Hills plastic surgeon and his wife bought a home on PCH in Malibu. They were supposed to clear the walkway for the public to get down to the beach. The walkway looked like this. The Coastal Commission called them, mailed them notices, made site visits. This went on for nine years and they still didn't clear out the pathway. Part of the problem is that the only way the Coastal Commission could enforce the access law was to take homeowners to court. We all know that's a long and expensive process and these beach blockers often exploited that. But then in 2014, Governor Brown signed a bill. It lets the Coastal Commission fine violators without having to take them to court. Fines of more than $11,000 a day. That should get their attention. Sure enough, the Beverly Hills plastic surgeon and his wife were hit with a $4.5 million fine. So now they have to clear the pathway for the public and pay the fine. The money, by the way, goes to make our coastline more accessible. So the next time you're driving along our beautiful coastline, remember, the part of the beach that gets wet from the surf belongs to the public. And you can get specific information on where to access our beaches at the California Coastal Commission website. Enjoy!